I'm going to tell you about this device right here. It's the HTRC Smart Trickle Charger, and it's the P15 model for lead acid batteries. I actually use this product to revive a weak stratified car battery. Before I show you that, you're going to see an unboxing. So stay tuned and watch the progress. Here's what's inside. Positive and negative clamps. The AC adapter card. These are actually battery screw-on clamps. If you wanna connect the, the unit directly to your battery while it's in the car. And here you have the, the smart charger, the P P15 model itself. It has a LCD screen, which displays voltage, current, battery power, and temperature. It's able to adapt and recognize a 12 volt battery with current two amps, five amps, and 15 amps. It's able to recognize a 24 volt battery with five amp, eight amp, and 10 amp. It has a seven stage charging process. In winter, when temperatures are below 10 degrees, it increases the charge charging voltage to keep the unit warm. While in summer, when temperatures are above 28 degrees, it lowers the charging voltage to cool the unit. This here is the touch mode, which enables you to select between these different current options, as well as the pulse repair mode. This pulse repair mode repairs old and idle batteries. On the unit itself, you have the fan here, and the AC wall input. And this is the input for the, the clamps. This battery has been sitting for a while. I have my voltmeter here, I'm gonna check the voltage. So it's actually discharge. 11.8 volts even though it's 11.8 volts it could still it could still run a 12 volt car horn so the horn still works but it doesn't have enough power for a cold start and in preparing a battery for trickle charging, it involves it involves cleaning. I'm gonna drain the sulfuric acid in a container and then use distilled water to wash the cells inside. can see it's really really dirty still water well it doesn't leave any mineral deposits and you don't want that mineral deposit being building up in your battery what I do know 
Games give it a shake. Shake it up. See all of that dirt? I'm gonna do this a couple more times to get it clean. What we're gonna do now is put back the sulfuric acid back inside the heat cells, but also to filter out all the deposits. The cells are now full, so this battery is now ready to be trickle charged. I had a slight little spill, so it's good to have um, baking soda to neutralize the sulfuric acid. For trickle charging, we notice the lids. The lids are off. This is gonna take some time. Anywhere to 48 hours for the battery to be rebuilt and fully charged again. The battery is now fully charged. Check the resting voltage with the multimeter. So there you go, 12.36. So this battery could be used for a cold start in starting a car. 